Welcome back to Let's Play Custom Robo. In the last episode, we took care of the preliminaries for the Robo Cup. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, Dennis is also seasick, but, you know, he'll be fine. These are what the rooms look, by the way. Pretty snazzy rooms, if I do say so myself. What is it with cruise lines and just having very small restrooms? Oh, hey! Congratulations, Xylem! This has been some day. I haven't got Hunter's autograph. <sighs> if only your father could be here. Don't look so glum, Mom. You'll see Dad on Encephalon Isle. That's true. Your father will be so proud of you. We need to tell your father how well you did when we see him. Let's see. Dennis is, you know... He's fine. He's just sitting here. I'm really sorry about this, Xylem. Ugh. It's okay, man. Seasickness happens to the best of us. You're still sleeping, aren't you? Oh, hey, Zylan. Those matches are boring. I feel so sleepy now. I change voices every time. That darn parrot. Who do I even talk to? Um. Um. Hey, Eddie, how you doing? They sure surprised with those preliminaries, huh? I heard you won three in a row. Pretty good work, considering... Oh, gee, I'm gonna talk to Serena. Whew, this preliminary match was a surprise. My battles were easy, but at least I learned a little money. Those Neobrain guys are funny. I wonder what they'll think of next. I've never been, never been in such an exciting match before. Really? Did you have fun, Zylan? The tournament has just begun and there's more to come. You should go to your room and get some rest. You have a big day tomorrow. What? <laughs> no need to worry. I don't have any other supply surprises planned for today. Fabulous idea. I must commend that Jacobs for his showmanship. I love these events. It's so fun watching people's faces when they hear what we've got planned. Uh, I mean... I don't think I had to talk to Winchell and them- Oh, hello. Professor Kinjal is here to check up on Dennis. She wants to check on me too, but I feel fine. Remember, I don't get sick very easily. I'm glad to hear that. A person can get, can get sick easily if they're not used to the way a ship rocks. Silent, don't hesitate to see me if you feel sick. We want you in your best condition when we arrive. Will you go to sleep? Yep. Silent, wake up! We're almost there! Let's go check out the deck! I'm like, god dang it, Liv, I just wanted to sleep! Ugh, alright, fine, let's go. To the deck! Look, Silent, over here! Oh boy, Encephalon Isle. We're finally here. Isn't this exciting, Xylan? Exciting? I'm always excited about tournaments. I just wish I could tell the th uh, feel the thrill of participating one again. Oh, never mind. Anyway, I wonder how Dennis is doing. Can you go check on him? Your room's right next door to his, alright? So, while we're walking over there, I should mention, Encephalon Isle is what I consider to be Arc 3 of this game. The tournaments up until, up until now were Arc 2, and the introduction is Arc 1. Ugh, hey Xylan, I still feel sick. Ugh, what, we're here? Ugh, guess we better get off. So, sh slowly but surely, my man. You're still looking pretty green there, Dennis. Sorry, I don't think I can move. We'll wait here until you're feeling well enough to move. No, that's okay, really, go on without me. The ship isn't gonna go anywhere, Dennis. We'll stay here and wait with you. Thanks, Xylan. I think I'm starting to feel better. I hope that passed. I'm glad to hear it. You know, if you weren't feeling better, we'd have to stay on the ship all night. Hey. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, Dennis. We should get going. We're probably the only ones left on board. Is Dennis still here? Uh, Professor Kinjal, please come in. Oh, I didn't realize all three of you were in here. I was looking for you. 
Thanks a lot, Professor Kinjal. I feel better now. We were just getting ready to leave. Perfect timing. Oh, and before you can set foot on Cephalon Isle, you'll need some vaccination shots. Vaccinations? Ugh, do we have to? I don't like shots. It's for your safety and for the safety of everyone here. You'll be entering regions of the island untouched by any modern development. It would be terrible if something were infected with anything. Unpleasant. That's very considerate of Neobrain. Oh. We'll go one by one. Let's see. Here we go, Liv. Ow! Are you alright? No, oh, yes, I'm fine. I just don't like shots. This is for the health of all the participants. I'm sure everyone else has already left the ship. You should be well on your way as well. One of our staff members will be waiting for you outside. Thanks! Okay, let's go! Wait for us, Liv! Bye bye, Professor Kinjal! You'll need it. <laughs> Are you okay, Dennis? Uh, yes, I think I'm better. Thank you. Where did everyone else go? They're probably all left for the hotel. Let me give you a quick scene of where things are on the island. First off, the hotel's right over there. It has all the anemones, or amenities, you'd expect from a resort hotel, and a few more to boot. Wow, New York Brain's got a lot of money to throw around. Next. This is Neobrain's laboratory. You won't be spending much time here as it's not associated with the tournament itself. However, we've opened a portion of the lab to the public so you can see our operation. Really? We can go in? We should definitely check that out later. And finally... If you look over there, you'll see a forest. That vast and dense forest will be the location of this year's RoboCup tournament. What? That looks more like a jungle to me. How is anyone supposed to get through that? Yeah, what kind of tournament are you planning here? It's a test of skill and survival. The participants will be dropped by helicopter to preset locations. The battle begins right when you hit the forest floor. You'll fight any commander you encounter and earn points by winning. The person with the most wins goes on to the finals. Wow, that's complicated. Can supports accompany their commanders? No. However, you are free to communicate via cell phone from outside the forest grounds. You should be able to provide good information from watching the live TV feed. I see. Hmm, we'll need to work out a good way of helping Xylan. Leave the robo maintenance to live and me, and me Xylan. I'll try to help out in any way I can. I'm afraid I must be returning to the ship now, but don't worry. You'll find plenty of helpful staff pros inside the hotel. Make sure you get some rest. Oh, and good luck! Alright, I guess we should go check in at the hotel. It's complicated, but this entire thing is very, very, very manageable. Like, it's a very small island, seeing as how big it probably is in real life. Hungry! Hungry! Shouldn't we go to the hotel? But I want to see Marv. Wow, it's like that place, like that woman said. This place is really nice. So, where do we have to go? I wonder if that woman's the receptionist. Maybe I should go ask her. Okay, I think I figured this place out now. It's not really co-ed, first of all. The men's and women's are separated. I thought she said not. Oh, well, I guess it is. Oh, not co-ed. Haha, <laughs> very funny. The women's area is on the right. The men's is on the left. I also found out where your rooms are. It's the first two rooms on the second floor. Since we got here a little late, the staff agreed to wait for us at our rooms to let us in. That's so nice of them. Why don't we leave our luggage in our rooms and go check out the lab? Ugh, oh, that sounds fun, but I'm still feeling a little barfy. I think I'll stay in my room. Okay, Zan and I will go watch then. You go get some rest, Dennis, and I'll see you in the lobby, Zan. Let's go, Zan. Our rooms are on the second floor, right? To do a bit of basic exploring, you cannot enter the right-hand side, because it's girls. There's also some shops! You know what that means. All the new stuff. Oh look, it's Comet. 
the best looking robo. Oh boy, new guns. And my favorite gun is here, the sniper gun. Fires one quick straight round while the round flies fast, it leaves you in danger for a long time. Much like the, uh, da -da -da -do, do -do -do -do, what's it called, the dragon gun, but this one's in my opinion just a little bit better. I have a lot of fun with this gun, and I think I'll also be buying one more. Ah, crap. Oh, so many good bombs. I'll buy the Delta Bomb while I'm here. Oh, I'm just in love right now. Stabilizer legs are definitely a part that I need. Um, nothing interesting in terms of pods. But the tripod age is nice. It's a very interesting thing. And I guess in terms of general robos... I mean, while the comet does look good, it's not exactly like the robot I use. Unfortunately, my favorite robo is not here. I wonder if the other shop has it. Do you pet your sweet butt? That it's not here. Dang it! But there are more stuff here. Like, a lot more stuff. I will buy the... I can only buy one more. Do I want the Magnum Gun or the Knuckle Gun? Magnum Gun. Uh, I'm gonna get all these, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, no. I definitely want a better Seeker Pod. These are really good pods. Oh, God. And a diorama box. Let's see. We not enough cash. Crap. Can I quickly do a fight? No. Ugh. How lame. If you go up ahead, you're just in a kitchen. Cool stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of talent. Oh, how I'm excited to show this off. Actually, I'm so excited to show it off. I'll even show it in Test Fire. Where is she at? The sniper gun. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun to show this one off. And boom. It's a nice. Good looking bullet. It's a pink bullet, but it's a good bullet, nonetheless. And notice how it does leave you vulnerable for a bit. But the big thing about the sniper gun is it does a lot of damage, it's fast, and you can slide with it. That slide is going to become very, very helpful. Once we make my go-to setup, it's probably going to be there for a good while. The homing star setup is definitely another one of my go-to setups. But definitely, um, the sniper gun is something that I just prefer so gosh diggity darn much. As for the magnum gun, I'll just show these off now just because they're pretty fun guns. Magnum gun fires a very short but big round. You're gonna want to be really close range for this. It usually is an instant down, even on the higher end of robots in terms of defense. But just like the sniper gun, you do get a nice slide with it. And the recovery isn't as bad. This gun is going to be really good and used for combos and just other s small things of the sort. But remember that you do have to be at close range. For example... Like... If this guy would stop for a second. Like, that's probably the most I can go with this one. pretty fun gun, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, those guys look cool. Stream is pretty impressive. I wonder if it's his text right off. I wonder if it is. First two rooms on the second floor, which means we gotta go up, up, up. He must be Xylan and Dennis. I've been expecting you. The room to your right is Dennis's, and the room on the left is Xylan's. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Why don't you go take a look on, uh, go to the lab and look, uh, ba, ba, ba. why don't you go to the lab with Liv and take a look around? 
I'm losing my voice. Snazzy room. But we'll do that next time. I realize it was kind of more of a talking based episode and just kind of understanding how Encephalon Isle works. But don't worry, we'll see much, much more action next time on Custom Robo. See you then.